This episode begins with Tao and Inha discussing their next course of action. Inha expresses worry about the raid, but Tao already has a plan for it. The prosecutor in charge of the raid on Kango is a perfect fit for the plan since he has no connections and a suitable scapegoat. At the chairman's meeting with the prosecutor, he accepts all the charges levied on him, but Inha and their attorney presents him with a pen drive. Contents prepared by Tao having all the dirty details about the state's legal system. The news soon spreads to different district attorneys and eventually the chairman is released with no charges as a bargain. The prosecutor is sent on an exile and thus becomes a scapegoat, just like Tao had imagined. The chairman visits Chu Haik Jin as a warning, but we don't know what he does with him yet. Elsewhere, in Ha's official entry into the Kango group and his approval by the public as a fresh face has the two elder Kang siblings worried. On top of this, Tao is promoted to the division director role and in Ha to the chief manager role. Soong Ju and In Ju further receive information that Jiam Suk has left the house for the family villa as a punishment by the chairman. In Ju is happy about this development and enjoys himself by throwing a party while Soong Ju is called by the chairman. The chairman saved Soong Ju from being dismissed in return for living a quiet life. It's clear that Soong Ju is harboring resentment against the chairman even though he doesn't show it. Elsewhere, the chairman discusses with Tao about selling Kango Tech One, which is considered a weak point of Kango. We also get to know that a Chinese company um, had attempted to leak the technology, which is why the chairman wants to sell it as soon as possible. He wants Kang and Ha to be put in charge. Elsewhere, Hai Wan and An Ha go to the beach where An Ha gets the ring on her finger. Tao is uncomfortable when An Ha sends him a text about getting married. Back to the chairman and Tao, we get more insights into Kang O Tech One. It is a weakness because in a long term, it is destined to bring more losses than gains. The chairman shows Tao a hologram of a huge building, telling him that it is going to complete the Royal Road project. We don't really know its significance yet. Tao meets the mysterious hacker who is finally introduced to us as a former North Korean spy Kim Gwanjil, living in South Korea as Sianyu Wan, who once manipulated banks worldwide. Tao wants him to lay low, but he rejects the idea. Elsewhere, He Chan is pursuing He Ju for marriage, but to no avail while He Ju is pining for Tao. At the meeting, Tao and An Ha develop a strategy to negotiate with the buyer of Kang O Tech One, Daejong Innovation, owned by He Chan's family. There are two new additions to their team which In Ha brings as he trusts them but Tao is highly suspicious. Nevertheless, they work tirelessly to make this deal a success. Elsewhere, Hai Wan is called by one of the close aide of the congressman who offers her to become an aide instead of a secretary. Tao and Hai Wan later discuss this development, and Tao offers to help Hai Wan rise the ranks but she declines the offer. The tension and lingering feelings between them is evident. Hai Wan regrets choosing In Ha over Tao but decides against this thought. At the same time, we find a mysterious person following Tao, clicking his pictures with Hai Wan but suspiciously deletes them. On the day of the negotiation, the Daejong's negotiator changes to He Chan. The meeting begins and He Chan is not interested in the deal and demands a 30% cut in price with no employment succession. At the same time, we see tensions rising and a subtle rift between Tao and An Ha. Tao suspects An Ha's team member and asks him to go home, but An Ha refuses to let him leave. Eventually, An Ha decides to use his time slip tactics. Thank you for watching our videos and please subscribe to our channel.